Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. What color is Christ? Black, right? But did somebody come preaching another Jesus? They preach this Jesus right here in the church. A lot of people got this up in their house. They got it in their car. They got it in their churches. They got it around their necks. So somebody came preaching that Jesus Christ was a white man. The Bible speaks about that. It says, if he that cometh preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, because the apostles never preached that Christ was a black man, I mean a white man. He, they always knew that Christ was black. Everybody in this Bible is our ancestors. They dark-skinned people. We came out here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You're the people that Moses brought out of Egypt. But your names was changed from Issachar to Mexican. When, when so-called Christopher Columbus came over here and conquered you and took this land. Did you sisters know that you was the Israelites according to the Bible? We are out here to read the Bible and to bring salvation unto our people. Read that. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Read it again. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So this is Christ speaking. Jesus the Christ. How you doing, bro? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You believe in the Bible? You can move around. What's your nationality according to the Bible? What's your race? What race you come from? My race? Yes. My people. Your people. I'm a German people. German? Caucasians? Uh, German. Okay, the same thing. Oh, Watch this. Read it again. Listen, uh, listen to this. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. So this is Jesus Christ speaking to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Everybody, and ye shall know the everybody. truth, and the truth shall make you free. Everybody. The truth is, you so-called Mexicans, you so-called blacks, you are the nation of Israel. Right. You are God's chosen people. Read it again. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Give me that in Romans. God says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth is what's going to set us free. What's the truth? How did you so-called Hispanics was conquered by Spain? And this land that was once yours was taken from you, and now they're trying to build a gate to keep you from keep coming into this land. Hey, can I speak to y'all for a minute, sis? Did you know, according to the Bible, y'all right here, that we are the people of Moses? That the people that Moses brought out of Egypt was our ancestors? Come here, sis. Hey, sisters. This is important information. Let me ask you a question. Real quick. Let me ask you something. Uh, what color is Jesus Christ, sis? What color is Jesus? Brown. He's brown. Why you say that? That's what I think he's brown. Huh? I said I think he's brown. Oh, you think he's brown, right? According to the Bible, he is a, a so-called black man. Right? You read that in Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. I want to read it to y'all real quick, that Jesus Christ is a black man. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means to reveal. So the Bible is going to reveal Jesus Christ. Watch this, verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and he heard behind me, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So John said, I heard behind me a voice as of a trumpet. Meaning a loud voice. When you hear a voice behind you, what are you going to do? Turn around. No, turn around. Watch this. Read. Say, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. So he told John, what you see with your eyes. John was woke. He said, write it in a book. Meaning the Bible. Watch this. Verse 12. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So John was not sleeping. He was not having a dream. John turned around to see the voice that spake with him, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So when he turned around, he saw seven golden candlesticks. He's describing 
what he saw because Jesus Christ told him to write down what he see. Read on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. You say, this man looked like Jesus Christ. When he turned around, he seen a man standing in the middle of the candlesticks. He said, this man looked like Jesus Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Christ had on a garment come down to the foot. Remember, they wore sandals back in those days. Read on. A garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle on. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ, the hair of his head, meaning the texture, it was woolly and the color, it was white. But what we call gray today, like what you see right here, white hairs. So Jesus Christ had white woolly hair. What people got woolly hair on the earth, brother? Old people. Who? Oh, woolly hair. Uh, black people. What you say, sis? Black people, right? So-called black people and Hispanics got woolly hair too, believe it or not. A lot of our people, right? The blacks and Hispanics, we're the children of Israel. We are God's chosen people. So we describe it how Christ looked. He got white woolly hair. Read on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes was red because he drunk wine. Remember, the first miracle that Christ did was what? Do you know, brother? He turned what into wine? He turned water into wine. That was his first miracle he did at a wedding. So Christ did drink wine. When you drink wine, the whites of your eyes turn red. But he wasn't a drunkard because he kept the commandments. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So John looked at his feet. He said his feet is like fine brass. Just like this brother legs. Just like you, sister. Fine brass is what color? Brown. The derivative of a, which when you look at a penny. Right? So his feet is like fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. So they say Christ's skin was so dark, it looked like he burned in a furnace. What, what color is something when you burn it? What color do it turn? It turned black. Black. So what color is Christ? Black. Christ is a black man. Believe it or not, we're the children of Israel, and it's very important that our people know this because we was raised on this. And guess what? A lot of our people say, well, I know Jesus Christ is a black man, but who philosophy do we follow? If you're not keeping God's commandments, you're still following this image. Although you know in your mind that Jesus Christ looked like this in the Bible. Watch this. Uh, give me uh, 1 Corinthians and we're going to go to Deuteronomy. I'm going to prove to y'all that we're the children of Israel. The people that came out of Egypt with Moses, those was our ancestors. But we lost our nationality in slavery. You understand? Watch this. Because you're not, you what, so-called Mexican, right? You'll be a what, so so-called African-American, black... Right? I'm going to show you that that's, those terms are not true. Watch this. It, uh, first, what that? I say 2 Corinthians 11. 11 and 4. 2 Corinthians. So I made, I made a statement that although you know Christ is a black man, but if you're not following the commandments that Christ, that Christ followed, the laws of God, you're still going to follow this image. Watch this. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh, Preaches another Jesus. So did that ever happen on the earth? What color is Christ? Black, right? But did somebody come preaching another Jesus? They preach this Jesus right here in the church. A lot of people got this up in their house. They got it in their car. They got it in their churches. They got it around their necks. So somebody came preaching that Jesus Christ was a white man. The Bible speaks about that. It says, if he that cometh preaching another Jesus... Whom we have not preached because the apostles never preached that Christ was a black man. I mean a white man. He, they always knew that Christ was black. Everybody in this Bible is our ancestors. They dark-skinned people. Read. Or if you receive another spirit which ye have not received. So the spirit, if you receive another spirit, meaning you walk around and you following the doctrines of America, you following the doctrines of this white man. You understand? Because that, these are the people that set up these things. And it's against our people. It's to keep us down. It's to right. keep us in sin. As long as the blacks and Hispanics are in sin, we're gonna stay in, we're gonna stay down at the bottom. We're gonna continue to get shot down by the police because God is not gonna fight for us. We're gonna continue to be thrown in jail. Un some, some of us get thrown in jail because we did something wrong. And but some of us get thrown in jail and we ain't did nothing. Yeah. And they get away with it. Yeah. You know about that, right, brother? Yeah. Exactly. Why? Because we're breaking the commandments of God. Finish this verse. Or another gospel which ye have not accepted, 
ye might well bear with him. Now, give me Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. I'm going to ask you a question, sis, and I'm going to ask you a question. Bro, what's your name? Jose. Jose, do you know the history about what happened to your people when Christopher Columbus, so-called, came over here and said he discovered America? Oh, when it came to, uh, Who conquered your people? Uh, I guess it would be uh, the Spanish. Spain. You, do you know that, sis? You know Spain? You don't know that? You didn't know that your the people Spain. went into slavery? That's what I'm talking about. That's who conquered your people. It was Spain. Why do you think you speak Spanish? You speak Spanish? Yeah, I speak Spanish. That wasn't your native tongue. That, that, yeah. that was what y'all spoke before. Y'all spoke Hebrew. But when they conquered y'all, guess what they did? They taught y'all Spanish. They you understand, they, brother? They switched the religion to for their own self. That's a good, I'm going to deal with it. Say it again. They switched the religion, put it into our people. Exactly. This religion right here, the white Christ, but we read in the Bible that Jesus Christ was a black man. Now watch this, sis. Let me prove to y'all that we're the Israelites. Now, give me Deuteronomy 1, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. I want y'all to pay close attention. Jose, listen good. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So we want you so-called blacks and Hispanics to listen to what the Bible is saying. The Bible says, these be the words which Moses spake unto who? Nate. All Israel. So who was Moses speaking to, sister? Hey, He was speaking. The reason why I'm asking, because when we start reading the scriptures, people get lost. They forget who it's talking about. Who is it talking about, sis? Who? I can't hear you. Who was Moses speaking to? Little sister, it's saying like you listening. Who was Moses speaking to? That's your brother. Let's read it again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These be the words which Moses spake unto who? All Israel, meaning all 12 tribes. When you look on that sign right there, from Judah, the so-called American blacks, all the way down to the so-called Mexicans. Moses was speaking to all of us because at this time we was united, we was together. We just came out of Egypt. So Moses was speaking to us, the Lord was dealing with us. Watch this, Deuteronomy chapter 28. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. A future prophecy, meaning something will happen in the future. Moses is speaking to the Israelites. Come on. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the blessing was, if you keep the commandments, the Lord was going to set the nation of Israel above all nations, meaning there was going to be what? The top nation on the earth. Right. If they kept God's commandments. Y'all understand what's going on, right? Jose, you paying attention, right? Yeah. If Israel keep the commandments, the blessing is they was going to be above all nations. Is that what the Bible says, sis? God told the Israelites, if you keep the commandments, you will be above all nations. Let's see the flip side if they break the commandments. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, a future prophecy. Come on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken means to listen. So if the nation of Israel will not hearken unto the voice of God, meaning the words that's written in the Bible, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if the nation of Israel was to break God's commandments, Curses will come upon them and overtake them. A curse is it? A, it's the opposite of a what? We just read in verse one. Verse one, they was going to get a what? Blessing. So the opposite of a blessing is a what? A curse. Meaning evil things will happen to the nation of Israel if they break the commandments. How did our people get to this side of the earth? Well, we was already here, technically. The so-called Hispanics was already here. Yeah. The so-called Mexicans was here already. Yeah. They, they was on this side of the land first. We're the same people, remember. I, we I, are the same people. That's what I'm bringing out. I, so because when you read in the Bible, it was a split between the so-called blacks, which you know today as African Americans, Haitians, and Jamaicans. And the so-called Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Cuban, Guatemalans, they all came to this side of the earth. And we were still in our land in Israel. You understand? That's why a lot of people say we was already here at first because the Mex they are people. We're the same people. I know. You understand? And they was dark skinned people before the white man came over and conquered them and destroyed them. Right. Now, 
Believe it or not, says your people, when they came and conquered y'all on this side of the earth, you, you was put on slave ships and you were shipped to Spain. We're going to read a history book. We got that history book, but that's also documented in the Bible that one of the curses that will come upon us. So, you say we got over here on ships, right? Here's slavery. I'm going to read that real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is synonymous for slavery. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. With what? With ships. How do we get here, sis? On ships. How did the so-called Mexicans, the Guatemalans, the Puerto Ricans start to speak Spanish? Because they went into slavery in Spain on ships. That's documented in the Bible. Watch this. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So as a nation, as a nation, we're not going to see our homeland no more again. Our homeland is Jerusalem, the land of Israel. That's our homeland. The, those that live there right now are not the Jews. We are the Jews. You read the Bible, the Bible says the Jews are dark-skinned people. Come on. And there ye shall be sold. And what did the Lord say? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Did they not sell us, sis, when we came into slavery? Yes. Sis, you got to look into your history. When they took y'all to Spain, when they took y'all from this side of the earth and brought y'all to Spain, they sold y'all into slavery. So the Bible says that the nation of Israel will go into slavery on ships. So if that happened to, if that was a future prophecy that was gonna happen, and who do you know that happened to? So who are we? Say it again. Israelites. We the Israelites, sis. That's right. We are God's chosen people, and we went into slavery because we broke the commandments. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.